A Shopify product page is a page that lays out all the details of a given product. Effective product pages show potential customers what a product looks like, tell them what it feels like, and make them believe it's something worth owning. In this video, we will walk you through some basic steps to set up a product page template in Minimog theme. With crisp images, a clear layout, and a bit of personality, you can create a page that will capture customers' attention. Now, let's dive right in. From your Shopify admin, go to Online Store. Navigate to the theme you want to make changes to, and click on Customize. Then, in the Theme Editor, navigate to the Template Selector, and select a product template. Here I will customize my default product page. The very first section is Breadcrumb. Breadcrumbs are a secondary navigation aid that helps visitors keep track of their current location on your website. You can either hide breadcrumbs from your product page or drag and drop them to reorder the section. In the section settings, there are options for you to decide on the container type, text alignment, or its availability. Then, I will move on to the product information section. This section provides crucial data about an individual product like title, price, buy buttons, shipping information, etc. Similar to other sections, you can set the container type of the section as default full width, or use container box. Select a layout you like. Here, you can also show the history state to the page URL, or enable the Foxkits variant group images feature. This lets you associate multiple images with one variant. After setting it up correctly, only the images related to the selected variant will be displayed. In the product media settings, you will find image-related options like image zoom, show thumbnails on mobile view, etc. You will find settings for the stick add to cart in this section as well. Sticky add to cart is a bar that follows a shopper around to enhance the customer experience and decrease cart abandonment. You decide whether you want to show it on your desktop view, mobile view, or both. Other add-ons like the wishlist button, Compare button or dynamic checkout buttons are available for the sticky add to cart bar on large screen resolution. Now, I will move on to the block settings. There are a variety of blocks that you can add, edit, and reorder in the product information section. By default, you will see we've already had basic info here like product title, product price, variant selector, buy buttons, and other add and buttons. To add more custom blocks to this section, click Add Block and select those that suit your needs from the list. For example, I will add a visitor's counter block that displays a random number in a custom range. This feature can boost the credibility of your store and let visitors know that they are not alone shopping there. Then, I'll show shipping information on my product page by setting an estimated delivery time and extra information if needed. To reorder any of the blocks within the section, simply click on the six-dot icon next to the block, hold, and drag it to the place you want. I will continue with the Product Information tab section. Here, you are able to showcase more detailed information about your product or brand. A Product Description block pulls out the full description of the product. A Custom Content block to display additional content or content of a specific page. A product reviews block showcases real reviews from a third-party app as social proof. We've built Minimog integrated with a bunch of product review apps so you can easily enable the app feature in the theme. But don't worry if you use an app that is not on our list. Just get the app code and paste it into the custom liquid element. Now, move on to other sections of the page. You can add a product recommendations section that displays an automatically generated list of recommended products. Otherwise, you can also tailor your product recommendations across your customer's journey using a targeted strategy. To configure the list, use Shopify Search Discovery app. For more information on how the recommendation logic works and how to customize your recommendations, check out the resources linked in the description below. Here I will change the section heading, text alignment and adjust the number of shown products on the storefront. In the product template, you can also find a recently viewed products section. This can be a simple yet powerful tool that leverages on the navigation history of the visitors. 
Besides those sections on the default product template, you can absolutely add new sections and make customization like other page types. You now know how to customize your product page. If you like our video, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you won't miss any other future videos. If you have any questions or need help with anything, check out for more resources or contact us via our live chat. Thank you for watching.